Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. We have what is probably going to be the busiest Pokemon card holiday season we have ever seen. There is so many upcoming products that's going to be released. I've already done the math and if you were to buy one of every single Pokemon card product from here till the end of the year, then you're gonna be looking at over a thousand dollars in terms of just spending that you're gonna have to do. And that is counting if you can buy every single thing at retail price. And we both know that's not gonna be happening. There are quite a few products that are going above retail price even before they're going to be released. So that's why I have put together a buyer's guide for you for this holiday season. Every single thing that you need to know about what you don't want to miss on, what you could probably pass on, which products you should be opening up and which ones you should be keeping sealed long term. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about Pokemon Celebrations, the upcoming 25th anniversary set that is going to be released on October 8th. There are over a dozen unique products for Pokemon Celebrations and some of these I think are going to be better for you guys to open and some are better to be kept long term for display purposes. Some of the products that you are probably going to want to open include the Celebrations Collector's Chest as well as the Celebrations Mini Tins because these have the highest number of Celebrations booster packs comparatively to their cost. If you would like to see my whole entire list for all the products and their retail prices, then you can check out the link down in the description and it'll provide you all the information you need as well as when these products are going to be released and what is their current expected retail price. The collector's chest as well as the mini tins are some of the best products to open, but some of the best Celebrations products to keep sealed long terms include both the Celebrations figure collection as well as the ultra premium collection box both of these products are on the higher end when it comes to celebration seal products these both look really gorgeous on display and they are really hard to be reprinted the pokemon company is unlikely to reprint these compared to some of the other more low-end celebrations products if you are keeping some of these products sealed for long term because celebrations is uh, going to be a classic set long term, then I think both the figure collection and the ultra premium collections are going to be your best bet to keep long term sealed. Next up, let's talk about Fusion Strike, the final Pokemon card set for 2021. And rumor has it, it's going to be our largest Pokemon card set ever. We know quite a bit about the Fusion Strike set because it's already been released in Japan and a lot of information is out there on the set with Mew being the mascot for Fusion Strike. I would still like to stand by my original point which is if you're on a tight budget like I am and you don't want to overspend for this year because like I said if you buy every single product for this year even if you get every single thing at retail price you're going to be spending easily over a thousand dollars. So if you're holding on to some of your money, then I would actually pass on Fusion Strike because it's got a very long product cycle ahead of it. Fusion Strike is going to be around for at least another two years. So hold off on it if, if it is something that you're looking out for. If you have some feelings of FOMO on Fusion Strike, then pick up yourself one single booster box of Fusion Strike. It'll probably go for around $100 to $120 for a booster box and it's going to be fun. With 36 booster pack, you might get in something enjoyable out of it and it is the highest value you're gonna get out of a pack opening experience. You can't go wrong with a booster box, there's just so much value there. However, if you are looking to just focus on the most exclusive products for this year, then I would pass on Fusion Strike for now. Next up on a product that I definitely would not miss out on, it's going to be the Tag Team GX Pikachu and Zekrom collection, as well as the Charizard and Reshiram Tag Team GX collection box. Both of these boxes are going to be really cool. We actually don't have a retail price on these yet, but I can bet you're going to be paying around $50 to $90 for at least one of these box. They contain 10 booster packs, but that's not the big part of it. The big part of that is that you're going to get yourself a gold Tag Team GX card featuring either Pikachu and Zekrom or Charizard and Reshiram. Both of these cards are instant classic. They're not available in English ever before. This is the only chance to pick these cards up in English. In the Japanese market, the Japanese versions of these cards are going for 
hundreds of dollars and these are going to be much more affordable options if you have not picked up the Japanese cards yet. So I would definitely be on the lookout for these cards. Tag Team GX are going to be real classic long term. People absolutely love the Tag Team GX cards. I enjoy them quite a bit and they're no brainer. You get two Pokemon on a single card and it's in a gold exclusive promo design. What's more not to love? Definitely do not miss out on these products. Next on the list, we have what is probably the most confusing product because I really don't know if this is going to be a cool product to keep long term or whether this is something you're going to want to crack open right away. And that is the Squishy Mythical Premium Collection Box, which is probably going to retail for around $40 to $50. It contains three promo cards featuring Mew V, Victini V, as well as Celebi V. The cards themselves are not exclusive. They do exist in other forms. And you do get three squishy versions of Mew, Victini, and Celebi. They're sort of like stress balls. You can squeeze them, you can play with them. The Pokemon company has never released something like this before. So it's really interesting to see whether this is gonna do well long-term. I would love to pick myself up just one copy of this box just because I think it's on the affordable end. And some people are probably not going to be aiming for it so it's going to be a little bit of a hit or miss. I think it looks cool on display as a sealed product especially with the squishy dolls inside. So if these are Pokemon that you're into, if you're a Mew fan, Victini, or Celebi fan, then this might be something you want to pick up. The booster packs inside are going to be from recent sets so there's nothing that's super exclusive but overall I think it's sort of an unusual product and something that I would like to keep sealed long term. Now on to something that you really do not want to miss out on and that is going to be the Jolteon V Premium Collection Box, the Vaporeon V Premium Collection Box, as well as the Flareon V Premium Collection Box. These box are going to retail for $40 but good luck finding these products at retail price because I can tell you there are a ton of collectors that are going to be foaming at the mouth for these products because the cards inside are smoking cool. Inside of every single one of these collection box, you're gonna get yourself an alternate art version of one of the V cards as well as an alternate art version of the VMAX card and even a jumbo version of the VMAX cards. So these cards are really, really cool. I was not even expecting these cards to leave Japan. I'm super happy that we get English versions of these cards, but going for $40, if you can find these on any shelf, pick it up. I'm gonna tell you right now, these are cool. These are cool to keep sealed. These are cool to crack open. These are cool to get graded. There's nothing that can really go wrong with these. You have to have these. I think these are one of the must have products to come out of this year. I usually don't go that heavy on the bias side, but I love these and I can tell you, I know a good product when I see one and I can tell you these products on retail dates are gonna go for $100. Let's not kid ourselves. These are super cool products. You get yourself an alternate art version of Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon, as well as their VMAX form, and all of the arts look gorgeous. This is the product of the year. I can guarantee you. I haven't seen anything else this year that has looked even close to as cool as these products when it comes to the English side. English, we never get products these cool, so when it happens, you bet you're gonna to wanna to pick one of these up. So this is my first and probably my final warning until these products release. They're gonna come out on the latter end of the year around November to December. Have your eyes looking for these products from your local game store, from retailers like Walmart and Target. They're gonna be available, but only for a brief period of time. I don't think these are gonna be reprinted. So if you have these, then they're gonna be fantastic to have long-term. Finally, we have a couple of products that you may want to pass on. It just really depends on your preference. And that includes the Single Strike as well as the Rapid Strike Urshifu League Battle Decks. These are really meant for the TCG players. Rapid Strike Urshifu is a competitively viable deck and it's probably gonna remain that way for the foreseeable future. So if you are gonna pick up one of these, I would recommend picking up the Rapid Strike or Shifu one. It's just the stronger of the two, but that's really dependent on whether you're a TCG player or not. I don't think these are really meant for collectors long-term. There might be a small market for them, but I highly doubt it. So if you are tight on a budget, 
these are some of the products that you may want to pass on. There's a couple of other boxes that are coming out this year as well, including the Hoopa V box as well as the Dragonite V box. They are going to contain booster packs from recent sets as well as a promo copy of either Hoopa V or Dragonite V. These are more on the lamer side, so if you're not really looking for uh, splurging money, then these are some of the products that you may want to pass on. The packs inside, you're gonna be able to get elsewhere. And if you want just the Hoopa V promo card or the Dragonite V promo card, I would just pick them up on the secondary market rather than picking up this as a sealed product. However, if there are a drought in Pokemon products in the future, this might be something you wanna pick up if you can find it at retail price, that might be a good deal for you. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video, and I hope this gives you a comprehensive guide for all the products that are going to be released throughout the end of this year. If you would like to see a more complete list of all of the products that I have listed today, as well as some products that were not even listed, then I would check out the link down in the description because I have a spreadsheet that covers every single products that are going to be released that you may want to be looking out for over the next couple of months, what time they're gonna be released and what is their retail price. Remember, this is retail price. I can't guarantee you what the secondary market is doing. Some prices are gonna be heftier on certain products over other depending on how much demand there are for these products. Some products currently have limited supply and that's going to be the current challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I will see you guys next time.